Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. Uh, so this one is a slight different one. Uh, it's an install video this week. Uh, it's my first time uh, fitting an electric combi boiler. Uh, so in order to get this boiler installed, uh, we had to get an electrician in. Um, and he actually had to upgrade the whole consumer unit because they needed a 63 amp breaker, uh, which wasn't available for the existing uh, consumer unit that the customer had. So he fit a new consumer unit uh, ran us a, a supply for it via a rotary isolation switch. I was going to say isolation valve, uh, isolation switch, um, and that will then power the boiler. The reason why we opted for an electric combi on this occasion is because the flue run you'll see in the videos was an absolute nightmare. It was an old ideal ice store uh, in the flat, uh, and it had the twin flue, and it was going through the ceiling space and everything. We did speak to Ideal uh, and Keston to see if there was an alternative boiler that we could put in. Uh, where we can reuse the existing flue uh, but the answer we got was hell no so um, yeah it was either start taking down ceiling panels and try and do an awkward flue run or we gave them the option of putting in an electric combi which were you know they were happy with we were happy with uh, because the install was actually pretty straightforward uh, so have a watch of the video and I'll give you guys my uh, further sort of thoughts and opinions at the end Jazz? Yeah. Got my boiler. Bloody hell. Fuck it, I was going on today. <laughs> Come to get my boiler. No problem, bro. Take a seat. Right. This is what we're going to be installing today. 12 kilowatt electric combi. Right, so this is the unit that's coming out. It's the ideal eye store, so it's basically got a like an unvented cylinder. So you've got your cylinder inside here for your hot water. Uh, not an unvented, but a vented cylinder. Or it is unvented. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is all coming out. So the actual boiler unit is inside here. Uh, I think that's on screw, so we'll get that off in a minute. So we've got to drain the cylinder out, drain the boiler out, get all this out. Um, gas isolation valves there, so we'll turn that off and cap it. Um, scale reducer is already in place. Uh, luckily, we've got a cold water ISO valve there. So we start ripping this out and then we can start getting the new boiler on and pipe it up. Okay, so firstly, we've just been identifying which is our pipe. So we've figured out we've got flow, return, cold main, hot, and that left one on the, well, on the left is our gas. Um, and coming around the side, We've taken off the little bit up the bottom, followed them up to the side. So now we know which ones are our return, flow, hot, and also we've got our cold right here. So what's going to happen is, and let me get that in there. So we can probably, depending on once the boiler's in, oh, let's zoom out, uh, cut everything probably where that those clips are and then just swing the pipes into the boiler. So everything underneath there, we can rip out. All that we can go, um, can be ripped out. Be made redundant. Gas is just gonna get capped on that side. Um, the discharge is going into the fanny trap there. So we'll either try and move that fanny trap further to the back and have it come up behind the wall, depending on um, the condition of this wood for the flooring. If not, when the boiler's on, just run the PRV down along the wall and then straight into there. So yeah, it's looking promising so far. So we're in luck. Our electricians turned up today as well. Um, so the board here is gonna be changed to an 18th edition amendment two board um, with a 63 amp breaker uh, to power the boiler via a rotor isolation switch. So he's gonna be working this cupboard here. Luckily, the boiler's literally just in there. So running the cable from there to there, it's not gonna be a big job. So hopefully we should try and get this all wrapped up today for the customer. Right, so we're still trying to get this out. Uh, we've had a look at the MIs and the top boiler unit is actually separate to the cylinder unit. And Josh is just trying to get to the back there. There's two screws, one there and one on the right hand side, which apparently holds the top onto the bottom. 
So we're just trying to work out how to separate it all. I think we might have to disconnect all these other pipes as well. And then lift the top bit off and then be able to get the cylinder out. So yeah, getting there. So finally got the unit out. You can see it's been spilling all down the back as well. That's been spilling for a while. Condense trap. It's gone. But yeah, that was not easy. But at least now we have all this room to play with. So uh, yeah, we'll get the boiler on and then work out the best way to do all the pipe work. Right, here we have the ECA Arceus 12 kilowatt. So we just unbox it. So we've got our flow, hot, cold, return. Uh, PRV will go into there. Um, got cable entry for like your thermostat and things like that. And that's gonna be part of the filling loop, I believe. We'll have a look at the MIs in a minute and then the electrical connections, they just come in through the top here. So yeah, it's quite a nice compact size. So we'll get it on the wall and start piping it up. 
All right, so we've removed the board and everything, exposed all the pipes. Um, slight change of plan on the pipe work. Yeah. Instead of cutting it all there, we're going to literally yeah, rejig it down here and then bring the pipes straight up to the boiler. And just like that, boiler's on the wall. Now we've just got to get all these pipes from here, straight up to it, start piping up. Gonna mark up all our clips and then it should be a little bit more straightforward. How are you feeling, Josh? How am I feeling? Um, like within myself or? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I feel great. <laughs> right, Sparks is doing his bit in there. So Josh and I are off to Lidl to get some sushi. Start to rain now as well. Hopefully, doesn't chuck down too much. Right here we go. Boiler is all piped up. Electrician's been wired it all in as well for us. So now I've just got the flush left to do. So I've just kind of disconnect the magnet clean. Uh, one of the connections in there. Um, isolate the top one, and then we're going to use the bypass. So I take off the bypass cap one and and use the low side uh, to connect the power flush machine onto there. So power flush the system uh, and then commission and we should be out of here. Okay, so the boiler is all piped up and we're currently just in the power flush. So taking off the magnet clean there and put one of the connections on the return. Uh, boiler, flow and returns are locked off there so nothing's going through the boiler. So that's coming back from the return. And up here, took that bypass off and put one of the connections straight into the flow so we're just flushing the pipe work straight through uh, going through all the radiators so yeah it's been a, been quite a nice install haven't got to worry about the flue um, because the main reason here was this flue was going up through here around there and out the wall there so doing a new flue run here would have been an absolute nightmare um, there's no condense to do uh, there's no gas to do that's been capped off there um, other than that, we've just got to wire up the thermostat. The Sparks has been, and he's done our electrical connection. Um, so once we wire up the stat, uh, power flush is finished, then we can just turn it on, commission it, test it all, make sure it's all good. But yeah, so far, so good. So we've just got this outside. Look at that. It's rusted straight through. We didn't even, we wouldn't have been able to see that until we got it out, but that is, that's been ID for a long time. <sighs> Bloody hell, good thing we replaced it. Right, so just put the power on. It's literally, you got the breakers in there. So turn that on, turn on the rotary isolator, and then it starts with an air purge cycle. So we've got the system full, uh, just over one bar, and the pumps is modulating now, just to get rid of air. This, we uh, figure out is actually just a venting point. So that's linked to the AAV at the top there, so it's just an, an air vent. So it's gonna let this purge out and then we'll put it through its heating hot water cycles. Right, so heating's on now and it's only been, what, about a minute, two, minutes. two minutes or so. And heat's already coming down the flow pipe and radiators are already starting to get heat to them. So now we're just gonna run a hot tap. Um, do you wanna run a hot tap in the kitchen, Josh? And It's gone to hot water mode now. I can already feel heat straight away leaving the hot pipe. So that's good. Instant electric hot water. Josh, let me know once that starts coming through hot. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, it's already hot, leaving the boiler, so that's good. Uh, ah, hang on. I just need to turn the temperature up on the boiler for the hot water. Right, that should start getting hotter now. Yeah. Oh, I can't even put my hand on that now. So it's definitely doing its thing. 
So yeah, that's uh, ECA, Arceus 12 kilowatt electric combi. So, I mean, when you look at it from a combi boiler point of view, it's literally flow, hot, PRV, cold, return. Just haven't got gas, haven't got a flu. Happy days. All right, final bits just in the wiring of the thermostat on this. So this one's really easy. It's literally, there's a link in here and these two terminals. Remove the link and wire in your thermostat, a two wire thermostat. So we're just using the existing analog one. So literally just taken common and switch. So when that turns on, it will send a signal to the boiler to, for it to fire up. Simple as that. Hot water, just like any other combi, open up a hot tap and instant hot water. So there you have it, an electric combi uh, on the wall, nice and easy. Uh, all you've got is, well, it's like a normal combi. You've got your flow, hot, cold, return. No gas, no condense, no flu. Uh, also, yeah, you've got the PRV as well. So uh, we jig things around a bit. Um, got everything piped up in a nice way. So instead of where we were initially thinking, bring the pipes around the side of the wall and then up into the boiler, uh, we took that floor out in the end anyway because it was all rotten uh, and then just took the pipe straight up so it looks a bit neater uh, customers then just gonna get um, another bit of ply or something like that to uh, put down on the floor they've gained a hell of a lot more storage space um, they didn't have to worry about an awkward flu run uh, and this was a 12 kilowatt combi that we put in which gives around nine liters a minute um, on the hot water demand uh, and I was actually surprised at how quickly it gave the hot water because um, normally you expect with a gas combi you open a tap boiler fires up you're going to get the water straight away but with the electric combi i was a little bit anxious to see how quickly it's actually going to provide hot water um, especially when initially the temperature was set to only 45 degrees and it wasn't getting hot i was thinking oh wow you know what's going on as soon as i turned the temperature up on the boiler the hot water came through pretty much instantly heating wise yeah again turn on the heating radiator started getting hot within minutes literally so really really impressed with the performance of it it's really easy to use uh commissioning wise well uh, the electrician's got to do um his sort of reading and stuff but from our perspective turn it on and it's ready to go it literally works straight out of the box there's no sort of procedure or anything like that you need to go through in order to set the boiler up um, it works straight out the box, um, which is really good. So yeah, I'm really impressed with this boiler. Uh, I will be fitting more of these. Um, I don't know if it's something that I would generally put in a larger house, uh, just because of the flow rate that the boilers give, but definitely in a flat uh, or somewhere where there's an awkward flu run uh, or somewhere where they don't need a very high hot water demand, um, it's definitely gonna be uh, an option that I'm gonna be considering. So. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Um, as always, please uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it um, and subscribe if you enjoy my content and look forward to catching you guys on the next video.